Chombo, I'm Abiola So, and in the name of my organization, Nation Commit, I want to thank the PACM for this opportunity to speak to our brothers and sisters from around the world. On this day of Kwanzaa, of Umoja, of Unity, I'm here to invite us to a reflection. One day, I heard someone say something at a Pan-African conference, something that I remember to this day. We were talking about African unity, or more exactly, the lack of African unity. And the man said, yes, it's true that there is power in unity, but sometimes power makes unity. I often think about this phrase and I found more truth in it every year that passes. Where will the power to unite African people come from? It probably won't come from the majority of our people. Why? Because what Shekanta Diop foresaw more than 60 years ago has happened. What was his prediction? Shekanta Diop warned us that if unification was not achieved in his time decades ago, the artificial borders imposed upon us by the Europeans will ossify on paper, on the ground, and in our minds. Today, these artificial borders constitute the spinal cord of Africa. Who will break it? Who will break them? Not the Ivorian people, not the Jamaican people, not the Congolese people, not the Senegalese people, not the South African people, not the Ethiopian people. Who will destroy the borders and create a united Africa? Not the Akan people, not the Yoruba people, not the Congo people, not the Zulu people, not the Hausa people, not the Amara people, not the Oromo people, not the Tigrayan people, not the Dinka people. Only people who have shared these identities can initiate the unification of Africans at home and abroad. Only people who embrace a new identity can do it. Only people who adopt the ideology of Marcus Garvey and Shekanta Diop as the nationality can bring about this unification. This will be the basis of unity. So the first challenge is not to unite the South Africans and the Nigerians, the Haitians and the Martinicans. No, the first challenge is to unite the sons and daughters of Garvey and make them demonstrate their power. Let's create a country, a nation of Garveyites and Ethiopians, and make it great. If that is achieved, many will want to upgrade their nationality and they will follow in mass, like leaves following a powerful wind. Asante Sana.